Welcome to another Noble Review session for students of AP Macroeconomics. Today we're going to look at the gross domestic product. We're going to talk about what's included in the GDP as well as what is excluded from the GDP. Here's a basic definition of the gross domestic product to get us started. The GDP is the monetary value of all final goods and services produced within a country's or an economy's borders in one year. There are two basic ways of calculating a nation's GDP. We can add up an economy's income for the year, such as wages, rents, interest, and profits, or we can just add up all of the expenditures of a given year. Here is the expenditures formula. GDP is equal to consumption plus gross investment plus government spending plus net exports. Consumption consists of all household spending. That's spending on all goods and services, durable goods and non-durable goods. The service sector makes up the largest component of consumption. Gross investment consists of the business spending. That's spending on plants, capital, tools, machinery, construction, residential construction, and also adjustments to inventories. Government purchases consist of all spending on goods and services or for resources. So this includes the military, this includes infrastructure, bridges, roads, tunnels, etc. This does not include transfer payments, such as Social Security. And net exports consists of exports minus imports, or X minus M. In the U.S., this would be the smallest component of the GDP. Remember, GDP reflects production of final goods and services produced in a given year. So here are some things that we would not count toward the GDP. The sale of used goods or secondhand sales, financial transactions, such as the purchase of a stock or bond, unreported legal business transactions, illegal business transactions, transfer payments, public transfer payments from the government, or private transfer payments between individuals, Intermediate goods, or goods that are used during the manufacturing process that are in the final good. Non-market transactions, or you know, household work. And finally, goods produced overseas. Well, that wraps up our Noble Review session on the GDP. What's included and what is excluded. In the next video, we're going to go over nominal GDP versus the real GDP.